Hey guys, it's me again, Mark. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Whitney and Keida is on the camera and we are located at my favorite spot on the island where the Monstera de Dichosa is growing. As you can see, they're massive, they look like giants and they seem very happy. And they are thriving here. But um, uh, we're gonna take you back home later to show you how to properly propagate them and cut them and how to pot them and so that you don't mess up with them. And also we're gonna talk a little bit about how to properly care for these beautiful uh, plants. Uh, we might not be able to turn them into this massive um, leaves or foliage, but we can try to make them uh, as healthy as they can be at our own homes, um, in our own house. So join me in this ride and let's go. Hey guys, so we're back in my balcony and now we're gonna be uh, doing the propagation of your Monster de Lechosa. And the first thing that you have to remember is to choose the right uh, parent plant for your uh, baby Monstera cuttings. And in my case, I have chosen this one over here. I have already um, uh, done some cuttings on this Monstera before. And this is the plant baby that I have uh, gotten from this Monstera. So it's already grown three months ago. Uh, into this um, own plant and it's uh, independent and growing beautifully but then let's go ahead with our cutting so what we're going to be using is a uh, cutter or a scissor or a knife any one that you prefer so this is going to be our mother um, plant what we're going to do is to um, to look for the internode and that's when we know that our monster is ready to be cut and propagated so this one I have chosen this one to be propagated and we have an internode over here so we're gonna be cutting this just a half an inch below the internode so we're gonna do the cutting um, right over here we're gonna cut this bit off Oh, it's got another aerial root that has managed to go down. Oh, we're very lucky with this one. So we've got, we've already got actually some roots that has already grown from the aerial root. This has turned from an aerial root to a soil root. And this one over here, we can cut a little bit of that. Yes, it's alive. So this is our plant baby and um, we're gonna be putting this in the water now so I prepared this vase just earlier on we're gonna be placing this inside just like that so guys we have successfully water propagated our Monstera de la Chosa over here I have so much hope for this I think it's gonna be very successful in three to four weeks we're going to be looking at some of its um, roots the aerial root will become a water root eventually and um, that is definitely going to help this monstera delicioso thrive into our uh, soil uh, propagation so once you've uh, seen that the uh, roots has uh, achieved at least um, three inches in length then that's the time that you can put it in a pot and in the soil. But most importantly, in choosing the right pot, you have to look for a pot that has a lot of holes at the bottom because drainage is so important with our monsters. And without the proper drainage, our plant is going to die because the roots are going to rot. So remember that um, when you choose your um, potting soil, it has to contain a lot of um, um, uh, draining um, elements to it. Uh, in my case, I mix it up with um, coco peat and some uh, coconut fibers as well, uh, some uh, twigs and uh, dried leaves that, um, and moss that I've collected from, uh, my, um, um, from my own uh, backyard and also 
to add um, nutrients to it, I put some uh, compost and um, cook, um, an eggshell uh, powder um, mix into the entire thing. And with that, I am 100% sure that your Monstera Deliciosa propagation is going to be a successful one. If you wait for another three months after you propagated it or, and planted it, you're going to see um, some new foliage coming out of it. And same as with this one, um, I've had it probably around three months ago from the same plant parent and it's doing really, really, really well. And it's only going to take another two months until I repot this into a bigger pot. And um, it's going to look as beautiful as the rest of my monsters. But then um, one thing we have to remember is that um, uh, planting a monstera is not an overnight magic thing that it will grow into something as big as this. It takes a long time before uh, our monstera could achieve a, um, the, th that this amount of um, this level of um, uh, size. In my case, this one probably took a year um, and even longer for this one, um, five to six years for this one to get into that uh, level. But then, um, as you can see, this one ha already has uh, fenestrations in it. So um, when, we, uh, when we started to see the leaves for this one, we are not gonna see fenestrations immediately. I mean the holes in the leaf. So it's gonna take a while for it to develop that, but just be patient, it will come out with your Monstera Deliciosa. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video on the propagation of Monstera Deliciosa. I hope you learned as much as you can. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask me in the comment section of this video. And also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you again next time. Have a lovely day. Bye.